action films uh, with a lot of action and hot girls. You'll want to see Rogue Warrior Robot Fighter in theaters later this year. With us this morning is Tracy Birdsall and Neil Johnson to tell us about that and how you can meet them at Comic-Con. Good morning, guys. Good morning. good morning. It's so good to talk with you. Now, I was talking with them in the green room before this. What, what a nice uh, couple of folks here. Now, you are the lead actress in the movie. Yes. And you wrote and directed it. That's correct. And you've done 14 films before. Or is this your 14th film? This is number 14. Mm -hmm. That's a, I mean, that's a ton. It is. <laughs> well, see, I, here's the thing. I, I started as a director as 21. Uh, I did the world's first digital film in 97. Did you really? Yeah, but... At the time, I was told I was a fool for doing it, and now it's sort of cool, and I, I, all I just keep working. It's, you really know? Cool. it's my full-time job. It's all I do. Doing your thing. Yes. All right, tell us about this movie. Now, I saw the trailer. It looks very, very entertaining. <laughs> and you said it's a cross between uh, Fury Road, and I'm going to say myself just a little bit of um, The Big Robots. Help me here. Uh, Pacific Rim? Yes, Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then something else. Star, Star it's Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some humor in this as well. Yes. yes. And and I think one of the uh, one of the robots is a pleasure bot. Ooh. There is a, there is a pleasure bot. You know, we've also got these other floating robots. And the thing is, the robots have personalities. You know, there's this this ball thing that walks. He's one of the main characters in the film, and this floating yeah. sphere with it. You know, and he's. He even has a character, a developing yeah. character. Yeah. I mean, and I mean and it's everything. it's one of the strongest characters in the film, apart mm -hmm. from the humans. So you've come. Tracy from I think it was Young and the Restless and tons of different TV shows and movies. Yes. And then now it's like you've been doing these science fiction films and action and all mm -hmm. of that. How did you transfer from you know two different genres? Well, I do all the genres. I love comedy. I love drama. But as I'm, I'm a sci-fi junkie. You know, I'm a complete and total geek. Like even up. behind the scenes, you really are. I really am. I'll like say since I, love I was it. a kid. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And so then I started working with Neil Johnson. I had I did a voiceover role with him. I got to be a computer, and for a sci-fi geek, being a computer was amazing. That's People it. are like, "Really, you're just a computer?" I'm like, "This is cool." You know? <laughs> like, you don't get it. That's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and then um, I did another one of those, and then um, we—I was in one of his movies as, as one of the main ensemble characters, and then um, we decided we wanted to work together, and so we have this lead role. And I have to tell you, it is the most fun. I've ever had because it, it uses your mind, it uses your imagination, it uses your physicality. Physicality is exhausting. And off the camera, you guys were talking about in the desert that there was a little bit of uh, playfully abuse mm -hmm. going on with uh, yes. director and actor. <laughs> well, see, this is the problem. You know, I, I work with a lot of famous actors. You know, and it's it's always, you know, you have limited time. And the thing with Tracy was that I, I could see that she was really committed and she wanted to spend the time. She spends like three months preparing for the character. And so we were physically, wow. uh, mm -hmm. but she's physically fit. You know, she, she, she's, she's a trained fighter. So I realized this is somebody I can actually take and really use and abuse uh, in, a, in a filmic sense. And, you know, there was times when she was, uh, we, we had a helicopter fly in and dropped her off in the middle of the, middle of the desert. Nobody right, right around me anywhere. 120 degree heat. Whoa! Yeah. And then, so I took a bag of ice and shoved it in my outfit. Yeah. And then she had to walk across the <laughs> desert and <laughs> helicopters flying over the top and everything. And it was a great shot. But that's, you need somebody who's willing to take the punishment, um, you know, as, as, as the character. And the, the, the character in this film is punished beyond, you know, what I've ever done to any actor in my entire Physically career. Physically and emotionally. Physically and emotionally. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's a character journey. So, so okay, so you guys, as, as actor, director, writer, you must spend a ton of hours together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna. I didn't say I was gonna ask you this question, but I'm gonna ask you anyway. Do you guys ever get into behind-the-scenes arguments? Like maybe you feel like it's too much. I'm not doing this. No, Anything because, like that? No, I always say. I always say okay. And I know that if I collapse, he will get me to an emergency room. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I always say okay. And this happened nearly the other day. It was we were out shooting, okay. and, and she nearly passed out, and she got some I injuries. I actually passed out on the side of the truck trying to get in the chair. And then it snapped me out of it when the car door, a gust of wind, slammed on my back. So is that true, or is it more he no. said, you got a scene to do, get up! Oh, no, it's true. No, it's it, true. It was... I showed you my bruises. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just keep going, that's I'll it. I'll just keep going. But you know, when the, one of the things as far as collaboration is I'll bring up an idea or a concept or something to him, and he'll either go, nope, or he'll go, let me think about that, you know, like the headbutt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she headbutts a robot. I mean, that's a spoiler. I'm like, oh, I played on the boys' <laughs> soccer team in high school. Can I headbutt him? You know? okay. He's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, Rogue Warrior, Robot Fighter, folks mm -hmm. can see you at Comic-Con where? Oh, booth 4600. The artist for the poster is Dave Seeley. He's amazing. And we're doing a signing starting at 6 o'clock on Friday night, tomorrow night. Okay. And a I lot of the it. cast will be there. Marilyn Gigliotti, Stephen Manley. Yeah. And, yep. See the trailer. It looks so entertaining. <laughs> 
Great to have you guys on. Thank you. Thank All you. right, we'll see you at Comic-Con.